Hi, my name is Mikey Sklar. I am the inventor of the Greasy Mon. This is the Greasy Mon. It is a circuit board that can take three temperature sensors and has 12 LEDs that are very small, right along the side here, that display how warm the grease in your veggie oil car is. The reason I've made this device is because I would be driving my car in the middle of winter when it's below freezing outside, and I didn't know when it was safe to switch to veg oil. And even though my system has an automatic um, conversion, a, a microcontroller built into, into the car already to switch over when the coolant's hot enough, I really need to know that the veg oil was hot enough and that I wasn't hurting the car by putting veg oil below 160 degrees into the car's engine. So what I've done is made this Greasy Mon device. I've made um, at least 10 of these that I'm going to be selling online. And I want to show you how this device works. Right here we have uh, a Greasy Mon that is hooked up to three temperature sensors. I've just used standard Ethernet cable with um, Cat5 connectors. So they just plug right in real easily. And these are the three temperature sensors that would be placed in different parts of your vehicle. Um, I put all three of mine on the uh, grease hose just before the injector and just after the heat exchange and just after it enters the hood from the rear gas tank. Um, so the idea is that you would just place these sensors in any area where you want to know if you have a cold spot or if the grease is getting to temp enough. And I just adhere them right to the grease hoses uh, with some zip ties and then tape them down. And it's probably a good idea to insulate the hoses too with some foam or uh, any sort of packing materials like bubble wrap and such. Anyway, so this is how the Greasy Mon works. You give it 12 volts from your car. In my car, I have it set up to take power from the key on. And immediately when the car key ignition is turned on, you get um, some LEDs indicating that the system is running and that the temperature right now is all blue, which means 65 to 85 degrees. Now, as I apply heat to the car by driving, or in this demonstration, I will apply heat by turning on a small space heater. What we'll see is that the temperature sensors now are going to be exposed to um, you know, varying levels of heat. So if we watch over here on the circuit board, we'll see that not just a three blue LEDs are on, but each sensor will slowly start uh, indicating that it's getting warm by turning on the next LED. So we'll see more than just blue soon, we'll see green LEDs, which indicates that we are between 85 and 105 degrees. So right now, sensor one, the top set of LEDs, has just gone to green. So we have blue and green. Uh, the other two sensors, sensors two and three, uh, well, they've just switched, so now sensor 3 has gone to green, and now sensor 2 has gone. So we are starting to warm up, and this means now that, that all three sensors are detecting a temperature greater than 85 degrees, but less than 105 degrees. And now as you are driving your car and continuing to warm the engine more, or using an electrical assist heating system and the veggie oil is getting warmer, you'll see another LED come on for each sensor, and we'll go to red. So we are rating now for um, each of the three sensors to produce one red LED being illuminated, which means we are between 105 and 125 degrees. Okay, and as you can see right here, sensor number one has gone to red, indicating that it is from 105 to 125 degrees, and what will ultimately happen is the sensors will go to white after they all go to red. If you are interested in purchasing the Greasy Mon product, you can buy it online. And the Greasy Mon circuit boards and cables are all included, and the price is $100 per unit. I have to make each one of these by hand. I think that the uh, Greasy Mon system is very easy to install, especially for someone who's done part of, or all of their own grease install. And I think that it is a, an amazing assistance for anyone driving on grease who isn't sure what their temperature is and is kind of blindly flipping after, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, or just looking at the coolant temperature, which is completely unreliable to um, tell you where your grease temperature is on a pretty cold day. Okay, thank you. Hello.
let's go. 